Today I'm going to review Blueprint. How DNA Makes Us Who We Are by Robert Plowman. So this book, it's a pretty short book for a science book. I mean, it's only, let's see here, a few hundred pages, like almost less than 200 or right at 200. So it's a pretty short book. Um, and this book is just all about how DNA and how genetics makes us who we are, like how we act and how we think and how we do things and how similar we are to our parents and siblings based on this genetic link. And it's a pretty interesting book. Um, it's a really engaging read because it's so short. Um, it's fairly low level. Um, while the author, he's done a lot of this scientific research himself, he's a very distinguished guy. But the way he writes, he doesn't communicate all that hot, uh, very technical stuff. He keeps it very understandable for the layman. And as such, this book would be a good book for someone to read who hasn't read a lot on this subject. He gets right to the point and he just uh, gives you all the information about how genetics uh, influences how we act and who we are as people. And then that's the book. Um, it was an engaging read. I enjoyed it. However, I don't know if this is the right book for a lot of people. Like I said, this book is short and he's not covering anything new here. While the author might have done a lot of this research himself, what he's like the, what the research has uh, concluded or found out has been covered in a lot of other books. Uh, Steven Pinker's The Blank Slate. Then there's uh, this book on the shelf, She Has Her Mother's Laugh. Uh, then you have um, Behave by Robert Sapolsky. All of those books cover similar things. Also The Gene by Siddhartha Mukherjee. They're very similar books. And if you've read those other books, then this book is not going to really add anything. Um, I didn't really learn anything from this book. I read it real fast. Um, well, it's only 200 pages, so it's very easy to read fast. But it would be a great book for someone who doesn't have the energy to slog through a behave or, you know, she has her mother's laugh. Those are both like six, 700 page books, I believe. Like they're very, very long, pretty technical. And, you know, it's kind of difficult to get through them all if you lose steam halfway through. This book is short enough that you could read it in a pretty quick amount of time and get the information you want. Uh, so if that's you, if you're new to the subject and you're interested in it, but you don't want to dig too deep or get too technical, then this would be the perfect book to pick up. Uh, however, for a lot of people that read a lot of nonfiction like I do, or if you've read some of these other books, or you have a desire to really understand the technical aspects then I would look elsewhere because this book doesn't really add anything to kind of what's already available in the nonfiction world. It's only 200 pages. It can't get that deep. So if, if you're that uh, technical-minded person who reads a lot, then I would skip this and go find something else to kind of engage that very technical part of your brain. So I hope you guys like this review. I've got more reviews coming soon. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.